Welcome to the Felix Smart Studio. Over the next 30 days, we are gonna be testing plant growth against auditory stimulation from two very prominent politicians, Joe Biden and Donald Trump. We were curious which presidential voice was more nurturing for plants to grow, so I took it upon myself to set up an experiment side by side to get to the bottom of it. Now let me quickly run you through the steps I took to create this experiment. Firstly, I have to gather identical sets of all the supplies. One set for the Trump tent, one set for the Biden tent, and one set for the control tent. I have growth charts to track progress, speakers to play the sounds. I combed through hours of presidential press conferences, editing out all the crowd noises, and ultimately decided on a specific set of sounds to accurately represent the two politicians. I went with each of the president's most recent two State of the Union appearances, as well as an important moments montage from a similar news source. Prescription Anyone drugs. Anyone is responsible for not taking control. Next, I have three Kai controllers equipped with a temperature slash humidity probe a ground probe which measures moisture levels and electroconductivity and I also have a pH probe. I have three identical grow tents. Two of the grow tents I'm buying brand new and they just came in and one we already had pre-existing in the garage. That's the one I'm going to be using for my control tent and then the new ones are going to be for Trump and Biden. Also they came with each one of these kits was a fan, grow lights, and ducting. And like a ton of other stuff, there's literally so many things in this kit. Now I also have pots filled with potting soil and all I have left to do is pick what seeds I want. To make sure that I'm picking the best seeds I can for this experiment, I'm going to go ask our in-house expert Lynn for some advice. If you want a plant that grows quickly and straight upward, I suggest you use a small species of sunflower. They like full sun, so make sure that your lights are intense. You may even have to move the lights closer to the plants to get the results you want. Sunflowers germinate readily. However, to be on the safe side, put in two seeds per pot. Okay, now that I know what I wanna grow, where I'm gonna grow it, and how to help it thrive, I can start setting up. I'm going to set up my grow tents and put them in similar but separate locations. I'm also going to randomize who's in each tent. Next, I'm going to set up a nurturing, themed environment for the plants so that they can better identify who is speaking to them. I'll measure out the light distance from the ground, I'll put the fans the exact same way, the ducting the same way, just trying to make everything about the environments exactly the same. Now, I'm going to plant the sunflower seeds into my pots and put them in the grow tents. As per Lynn's suggestion, I'm going to plant two seeds in each pot. I need to set up an effective way to track the progress of these plants and monitor their environment. This will involve the use of Kai to monitor air and soil conditions and to automate all the devices. Also, a grow chart, which you saw earlier, and a camera to record and time lapse the whole process. Fortunately, I can use Kai to set up time lapses with ease and jump in any time to check the stream. Now that we're all set up, it is time to track progress. What are you hiding? Why are you unwilling? All of the watering was measured out using the exact same pores of tap water. Also, no additional nutrients were given to either plant throughout the process. Okay, we are now one month in the future and I have three sunflowers to prove it. Uh, before I get into the very surprising results of this experiment, I'm quickly gonna go ask some of my coworkers exactly how they felt about this whole test. Could you summarize the entirety of your feelings about the Trump and Biden experiment in one facial expression? Whoa. Having a constant flow of politicians talking throughout the office has evidently taken its toll on the group. We have been through a lot in the past 30 days and would really appreciate it if you would leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel. Okay, now back to the data. Like I mentioned prior to beginning this experiment, there were many variables tracked in the soil and air. In addition to this, I also made sure that the audio files were lined up exactly the same, the speaker volume was lined up exactly the same, and I took an extra measure, uh, got a decibel measuring app on my phone, set it up in the grow tents, and made sure that was right around the same. So now let's look at the sunflowers. I have brought with me a fancy ruler to help me out measuring the different aspects of the plants. Primarily, I'm interested in looking at the height of the sunflower, the largest leaf sizes, and the color of the sunflower. Does this have a color setting? <laughs> Firstly, let's take a look at the control sunflower. Um, this sunflower grew kind of as expected. It just grew consistently the whole time. Uh, nothing really crazy happened, no major fluctuations or variations. Uh, and let's get to measuring it. So I'm gonna be measuring from the base of the pot up and I'll just write everything down right here. For our height on this control sunflower here, we have 138.38 millimeters for our average leaf length. And this is just based on the two biggest leaves. 
um, I got 58.04 millimeters, and for the average leaf width, I got 33.4 millimeters. Also, it looks very green and healthy. Uh, there's a little bit of decay just on one of the leaves here, um, and that's kind of all. It looks, it looks healthy and good spirits and like it would grow up fine. Okay, now we have the Biden sunflower. Um, off the bat, it looks like a big improvement to the control sunflower, which is already surprising. Uh, it looks a bit greener, a bit uh, thicker leaves, uh, so I'm just gonna get right into measuring it. All right, so the Biden sunflower measurements are complete. I'll just quickly run you through what I found. So I was pretty surprised by these uh, results, but we have a height of 157.62 millimeters, um, an average leaf width of 34.27 millimeters, and an average leaf length of 55.85 millimeters. Now, the height blew the control out of the, uh, the soil, if you will. Um, but the leaf sizes were a little bit deceiving because I thought they were gonna way exceed the control and they ended up being kind of right in the same ballpark, actually on average a bit less in the length uh, than the control was. So interesting stuff, I'm gonna move on to the Trump now. All right, the final competitor emerges and it's the Trump sunflower. Um, I will just quickly get some measurements and then I will compare all of these across the board. The final showdown. Comparison time. One of those will have to work. But this is what the end result is. Both the Biden and the Trump sunflower succeeded in their own unique ways. That being said, the Trump sunflower way outgrew the Biden sunflower. Uh, its final height came in at 190.51 millimeters. That is significantly more than both the Control and Biden's sunflower. Where it did lack though was the leaf sizes, um, and it also doesn't look quite as healthy as the Biden sunflower, so that's an interesting thing there. Well, I also had to double check with Lynn just to understand what these dead and shriveled up leaves are doing, and apparently these are called cotyledons, and they're meant to shrivel up and die off and fall off right away because they aren't actually leaves of the plant. These are like seed leaves. Uh, so this is totally normal and natural. Um, something that's interesting to note is that Biden's sunflower has these cotyledons, except they're weeks behind where Trump's are. So Trump just shot out of the soil, got rid of its first leaves and has taken off. Um, whereas Biden is, is lacking behind. All things considered, it appears that Donald Trump's voice stimulated sunflower growth way more intensely than Joe Biden's voice. Now, that being said, it appears that Joe Biden's voice created a healthier looking sunflower than Donald Trump's voice. Please keep in mind that we are a Canadian company with no vested interest in these results. We just wanted to run this experiment and see what would happen. Uh, we're not in the business of choosing winners and losers. We're just in the business of revolutionizing the way that we control, monitor, and care for our pets and plants. By the way, you only saw a small representation of what Kai is capable of doing today, but there is so much more. Kai has kits that let you grow and care for anything at all. So if you're ready to take your ecosystem to the next level, uh, visit www.felixsmart.com.